Every year, over 10,000 children in the United States are diagnosed with some form of cancer. One Jacksonville organization wants to make a difference by opening these children up to a whole new world, the world of artistic expression. who's the co-founder of this program, Lisa Ussery. We always wanted to work together at something throughout our childhood. We've always spent a lot of time together, wanted to do something that had meaning and importance in our lives. Art with heart is love. You know, I really believe that. It's another form of expressing love and as an artist or art maker, what better way to work with children, especially that are in some sort of turmoil than to do what you know best and that is to produce art. years I try to be a professional artist and I've gotten more rewards in the time that I work with the kids than I ever have being in a gallery, selling a piece, um, working with a client. Me, one for my papa, one for my daddy, and one for my sister. I know we give a lot to children, but I probably get a lot more every day, every day. It's wonderful for my soul, for my heart. Art with a Heart provides an opportunity for them to be normal kids doing normal things and fun things in the midst of the medicines that we need to give them, the procedures that we need to do. And in fact, you will come in in, in the morning and they may be bright because today's Art with a Heart Day. They've been confined to their rooms for, you know, a day or two days or three days or even longer sometimes. Sometimes it's the only thing that the kids want to leave their room to do. It also can be a cathartic process if they're going through something that's really difficult. It gives them a chance to express themselves through art. If I see a child in clinic and they know they need to come into the hospital, scheduled admission, some of these kids it's such a positive experience, they look forward to coming into the hospital. Now, how many times does that happen? For one teenager, the ideas and images in his own brain come to life through the medium of art, providing a healing experience for his soul. Nick Patrick is 14 years old and suffers from a rare and often deadly form of brain cancer. Working with the Art with the Heart organization has had an impact on Nick's attitude while battling this life-threatening disease. Gotta have a positive outlook on things for things to be positive. The first time we met Lori, it was an instant connection. He's such a unique, amazing individual and all of us fell in love with him the day that we met him and it's just an honor to be able to be part of his life and part of the journey that he's on right now. And I think one of the reasons that makes our program so unique is because we're able to really meld and form relationships with these patients. It's not just art, it's the people and the conversation. Nick could sit in there and watch them draw. They're all just great wonderful people for what they do and it's uh, on their time and they enjoy doing it and they're it really makes a difference from the beginning i've always said cancer doesn't come riding in with unicorns rainbows and lollipops so that's what i've been getting the great people uh, art for a heart to do for me the you know unicorns and all the like happy scenery and everything and with like the brain tumors on their backs because I mean you gotta look at it somehow and you gotta try and stay positive otherwise you're just 
you might as well just be done for. And it's not just a drawing. It symbolizes something much deeper. One of the children that we had worked with for two years, she did pass away. And the mother called and asked if they could bring their child, their other child, the sister, in and do an art session with me to continue that relationship, to show the sister that what we had done here with the child that passed away wasn't over. Art with the Heart, they give you something to do when you're in the hospital, no matter if you're a patient or your family. I can finally see what Nick is thinking, you know, because the creation is so spot on. The unicorn, that's it. I mean, that will be in the frame up by his casket. And I know that sounds morbid, but if that day comes, Nick wants to make for sure it's right there. Every child that we really encounter has their own story, their own issues, their own families, and their own really difficult road that they're on trying to get back to health again. And to, to be an artist in this organization, to have that opportunity to get in the door and to share with them is just remarkable. We hope to bring a moment of light to their day, which may otherwise not be as bright. Art with the Heart works with other area nonprofit organizations, expanding their reach to include as many children as possible. One of the things that the J Fund was able to do to support Art with the Heart is to provide funding so that they could expand their program to Nemours Children's Clinic, which is where the pediatric cancer patients um, who are not hospitalized go for treatment. So we are able to provide a grant so that they could provide the services to the kids when they're outpatient and they're at the clinic. Sometimes they're still there for, you know, five to eight hours getting their treatments, and so they're um, able to work with the artists. I think what they're doing with the J Fun and, and Kelly Coughlin, they're, they're coming about it pretty much with the same type of mission that we are. And because we're promoting that kind of wholeness to help not just the child in need, but their families. And I, I think that we saw this really good partnership. So that has opened the door for us to be in the Moors two days a week. I think there's a therapy aspect to it where you know the children are able to express their feelings. They don't always have words to say what's going on and so this provides them another outlet. Heather had come to us. She had heard about our organization and she knew that we work with patients in the hospital and plus we're artists. It was a wet rainy day in Jacksonville. We were at home. Um, kids were complaining there was nothing to do. And so we decided to brush off our um, A to Z list and resurrect our A to Z game. And we decided to write a little story um, about Jacksonville. Jacksonville from A to Z. So I met with Lori Gudagno um, and, and gave her a copy of our, of our book. Um, and asked her if she would be able to work with the children to illustrate each page or each letter. Um, they would read the stanzas on each page and then just come up with whatever they wanted from that page to illustrate. She thought that we would be the perfect fit to help her get this book moving along. Uh, so we devised a way that we thought would make it the easiest for our patients to feel comfortable in choosing a theme and we help them along. Sometimes it was the patients on their own, sometimes they needed some support from the artists, and other times they would work with their parents or whoever family member was there. But it was a, it was a great project because it, it brought the kids together in something that they knew and were familiar with. They loved the thought of promoting their city, and they loved the notion that something that they were doing was going to get published and put out there into the public and that was a real exciting thing for them. I think that if you ask any artist who has worked with Art with a Heart, 
I think everybody feels the, the same way, that it's a privilege to be there, it's a privilege to work with these children. It's a very eye-opening experience, and it certainly gives you a better perspective on life in general. Medicine can heal our bodies. Food can nourish our bodies. The only thing that can really nourish and heal our souls is art.